In this chapter, we will discuss the difference between the various fixtures, how to select the proper fixture to present specific categories of merchandise, and which fixtures are used for window displays, on counters, and as floor fixtures. Store fixtures are not just for displaying merchandise. They must also respond to the challenges of marketing and merchandising while projecting the brand. Fixtures bring personality to the environment and make it more exciting. Like mannequins, fixtures should invite the consumer into the world of the brand through appearance, kindling, and emotional engagement. This separates the brand from the competition. Compare the difference between store fixtures and an outlet and that same store's fixtures in a regular price mall. The fixtures in the outlet are basic, offering little personality or excitement, while the fixtures in the regular price store fit the brand's image through style and, at times, customization. Stands are basic fixtures that are widely used and are a means for creating build-up displays. They can be placed on the floor, a platform, elevation, counter, or ledge. An assortment of tops that can be used interchangeably are included with the stand. The tops are attached to an adjustable rod and set on a weighted base, which helps to keep the stand upright and from toppling over. The rod can be adjusted to different heights for the presentation of merchandise. Hanger tops, also known as a draper, have a gentle curve. They're used to display items such as dresses, sweaters, or jackets. Hanger tops can also have ends that curve upward, which allows for garments like sleeveless pieces to be displayed without falling off the hanger. Platforms and elevations create small buildups, which provide interest and helps to separate merchandise mass displays. Cubes, tables, cylinders, and saddles can be used as platforms. Elevations can be tables, chairs, or other furniture that can raise a mannequin form or stand. Coordinates and complete outfits are shown using costumers, valets, and drapers. The costumer is freestanding with a hanger and skirt bar. It can be placed on a floor, ledge, or counter. The valet has a heavier and wider hanger than the costumer and has a slacks bar. It is useful in menswear. The costumer and valets are great for displaying in specialty stores, boutiques, or in areas with limited space. The draper is another type of hanger. However, it does not have a skirt or a slacks bar. This adjustable fixture is compact, making it meant for counters or to create a buildup. Pipe racks are generally on wheels and they have a flat wood or a metal base. They are beginning to regain popularity within the industry. Cash wraps. As a refresher, cash wraps are the point of sale. This area must be ADA compliant to accommodate those with disabilities. The cash wrap presents the opportunity for last minute add-ons. Counter fixtures. The majority of counter fixtures are designed to display one category of merchandise, such as earrings, neckties, or scarves. The consumer requires little help from the salesperson because the fixture makes the merchandise accessible. They sell, display, and stock merchandise. 
Some counter fixtures may have a mirror attached so that the consumer can hold merchandise up and get a visual of how it will look on them. Floor and freestanding fixtures. These fixtures are designed to hold and show merchandise on the sales floor. The major types of floor fixtures include the round rack, T-stand, quad rack, and four-way face-out. The round rack is the most commonly used fixture. It has a circular hang rod and is about three feet in diameter. It is also raised between 45 to 72 inches off the ground. Merchandise should be arranged by color and style for the best presentation. Otherwise, it appears unorganized and picked over. T-stands make big fashion statements as they display new and featured merchandise. They're used along the aisle to introduce the merchandise in the area beyond. The arms of the T-stand can be a waterfall with merchandise descending on the sloping arm. Four-way face-outs are fixtures that have four arms. They're ideal for displaying separates or coordinates. The merchandise is faced out, as in the merchandise is viewed from the front. Other types of fixtures include the gondola, which is a long flat bottom merchandiser. This is gonna be commonly found in your big box retailers and in grocery stores. They can also be used for displaying linen, housewares, china, and glassware. The ends of gondolas are called in caps. They're used to offer product trials, tastings, or testing. The etagere is a open multi-shelf fixture used to show china, glass, and home furnishing accessories. The kiosk is a self-standing booth. It can be used as a mini boutique, an outpost, or an enclosed information or special events desk. It can also be a digital fixture. The outpost is a freestanding, self-contained selling unit that generally displays merchandise not ordinarily sold in the department, such as handbags within the shoe department. The three-part rack is a round rack made up of three separate but equal arcs. It's best for showing separates, coordinates, or assorted colors and styles of a particular item. The C-rack is a round rack that is split in half, creating the C. Like the round rack, it can hold a large volume of merchandise such as dresses, coats, suits, and separates. Two C racks can be put together to form an S rack. The vitrine is a decorative glass enclosed showcase. It is used to display small precious items. The spiral costumer is a corkscrew or descending waterfall. Consumers have a 360 degree view of the merchandise displayed on a spiral costumer. When selecting fixtures, the following criteria must be considered. Appearance. Does the rack fit in with the design of the store? Is it aesthetically pleasing? Construction. Is the rack flexible and adjustable? Can the arms be raised or lowered to accommodate merchandise? In use. Does it align with the intended in use? If the intent is to hold a large, a large amount of merchandise, can it do that? Does it show and sell? Upkeep. Is it serviceable, dependable, reliable, and safe? Is it easy to maintain the fixture with minimum associated cost? 
finishes. Are the finishes appropriate for the brand image? Do they flow with the brand image? Does the finishes extend the life of the fixture? Finishes can be done in chrome. They can be nickel plated. They could be brass, copper, bronze, or just a painted on finish. Today's fixtures are created from wood. They have a richness and they're refined. They provide warmth. Some fixtures are even actual furniture pieces. It's important that fixtures today have versatility. Um, some fixtures in stores are now very interactive with the consumer. Uh, the consumer can browse the web. They can request uh, different sizes, call for the salesperson, etc. Victoria's Secret is a retailer that has a interactive fixture within their store. All right, class, so this wraps up this lecture. I will catch you all in the next lecture.